Hey everyone, Cody from Mac Telecom Networks. A couple of days ago, Ubiquity released the U innovations for the UISP switch, router, power, and console. And the console is still in early access. Usually when they release videos, I do a thoughts video almost 10 minutes after they release. But for this release, I don't do a whole lot of UISP work, so I wasn't going to do it. But I've had quite a few people ask me if I could do a thoughts video on it. So that's what we're going to do today. So we're going to watch the video by Ubiquity and then I'll tell you my thoughts on it. It is a very short video coming in at 1 minute and 42 seconds. If you're new here, please subscribe and hit the bell icon. If you'd like to hire me for network consulting, visit www.mactelecomnetworks.com. You'd find me on Twitter at MacTelecomN. And if you like to watch live game stream play, I stream on Twitch about four days a week. And you can find that link in the description below. So now let's take a look at the new UISP video. <laughs> Welcome to the new UISP product family, designed to bring maximum flexibility to wireless ISP network buildouts. Let's introduce the family product categories, switch, router, power, and console. The router and switch provide layer three or layer two power over ethernet connectivity to wireless APs and bridges. Each ships with a 120 watt power adapter and a proprietary transport cable capable of delivering very high power over long distances. The transport cable is what makes outdoor co-location of UISP switches and routers seamless. Simply enclose the device in the UISP box and extend the transport cable. Worried about site interruptions? No problem. Just snap the power adapter into the UISP power and the integrated lithium ion battery will sustain operation in case of a site power outage. Add further levels of redundancy with a second power adapter and even increase battery capacity externally. Finally, the UISP console integrates the UISP application software with a powerful gateway that can reside at a network operation center for a more secure and zippy UISP software experience. Ubiquity, simplifying IT. And that was a really short video. The first thing it shows is all of the different devices. So we have our switch, we have our router, we have our console, and then we have our power. I've already done videos on the router and switch. You can find those links down below. The console has been in early access for a while and the power is something new to me. I haven't seen that before besides in this video. The next thing they show is the transport cable, which is proprietary to the UISP line. I really don't like proprietary cables. With my router and switch, I only got a short cable. We didn't get up to 50 meters. So I assume that's gonna be something else sold separately in the store. Next, we have the UISP enclosure, which could either have your router or your switch right in there to protect it from the weather. And this is like the USW Flex utility box, which I have one in my backyard and it works very well. And the last thing that they show is this new power box. So we have our transport cable plugging into it and then we plug in our power supply into the left hand side. In the middle, we could add a battery to this for redundancy and we could also add a secondary power supply. They also have a lithium battery built inside. So that gives us a lot of power redundancy. We never want our connections to go down, especially in a wireless ISP. With the console, I believe it has UISP built directly into it. So you don't need to host it on your own server or pushing it out to Ubiquity UISP. They do have a minimum number of 10 devices before you could use theirs for free. And one thing they didn't show in the video, but it's on UISP.com slash wired is this UISP router pro. And this looks pretty familiar. It looks like the UDM pro or the UDM SE. On the right hand side, we have four one gigabit slash 10 gigabit SFP plus. And then we have nine gigabit ethernet ports. And we also have our LCD screen on the side. So once this does come out, I'm going to grab one and we'll do a review on it. So like I said at the beginning of this video, I don't do a whole lot of work on UISP, but this makes me want to start my own wireless ISP. Let me know in the comments below what you think about this new UISP line. If you like this video, hit the thumbs up button. If you're new here, please subscribe and hit the bell icon. All right, thanks.